Samus is under fire. She sent an emergency directive. Join the fight.
As always, this stream is brought to you by Sheriff and Sheriff Security Cruises Extended Warranties and Catering. Hello. Happy Thursday. How is everyone? I am excited to bring you guys the game that killed Metroid for seven years after it was killed for eight years before that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're going to play Metroid Other M on the Wii. I've got my Wii hooked up through various components, cables. I've got my Wiimote. This is only played with a single Wiimote, no nunchuck. I'll, we'll get into that. Uh, and before we get into that, we're going to go over the Metroid timeline because <laughs> it's important to go over the timeline that you're not confused of what's happening and why it's happening. Uh, all right. Let's switch over to that. Boop. All right. The Metroid Timeline. Played most of these games on stream, but just to refresh everybody's memory. Okay? We're going to refresh everybody's memory. Right? We start with Metroid. What happens in Metroid? Samus kills Mother Brain. What happens before Metroid? Ridley kills Samus's parents. She's adopted by the Chozo, given power armor, and Chozo DNA. Uh, Metroid was remade in Metroid Zero Mission, which you guys saw me play on stream one year. What was that? What year did I play all the Metroid games? 2021? 2022? I feel like it was 21. 2021, we played Metroid Thanks. Zero Mission. So you guys got to see that. We killed Mother Brain. We killed Ridley. We, we saved the universe. This was Met this is Samus's first mission, right? right? And then the game we haven't streamed, but really there's not a lot going on in it, is Metroid 2, The Return of Samus, or it got remade as Samus Returns to the 3DS. In this, the Galactic Federation orders... Samus to commit genocide against all of the Metroids on their home planet of SR388. Except, at the end, after Samus kills the Metroid Queen, she comes upon a Metroid larva who attaches to her and identifies her as her mother. That's going to be important for Metroid Other M. Uh, in Super Metroid, Samus delivers the baby Metroid to the Galactic Federation and then says, good luck. Three minutes after she does that, Ridley attacks the space station and steals the baby, baby Metroid. Uh, and then you go back to the same planet, Zebus, which is also the same planet that Samus was raised on by the Chozo, by the way. Uh, and you fight all of the same guys again, Ridley, Kraid. Um, somehow they returned, right? Somehow they returned, we don't know. You kill Mother Brain again, the baby Metroid risks its life and sacrifices itself to save you, um, thus imparting a power beam for you to kill Mother Brain. The planet explodes. To be clear, planet explodes in this one, planet explodes in this one. Wait, well, but how does the planet explode? The planet doesn't explode in Metroid. There is a self-destruct, <laughs> but the planet's not destroyed. Okay. But Zebus is destroyed after Super Metroid. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Now... Other games you've seen me play. We're going to skip over this. Metroid Fusion. This is the X-Parasite saga. Right? Oops, all X-Parasites. Uh, Metroid Fusion and Metroid Dread, right? You saw me play these. We're not playing. We're here. Metroid Other M is in the main timeline here. It takes place before Fusion, before the X-Parasites, but after Metroid. But in release order, it came out after Fusion. And that's important because there was a character in Fusion. There's plot elements in Fusion that take place in Other M. At least they're supposed to. They're not conveyed very well. One is your commanding officer from the time where, after Samus was raised by the Chozo, <laughs> she enrolls in the Galactic Federation Army um, as a cadet. And it doesn't work out well for her. She leaves eventually and becomes a bounty hunter. But while she was in the Galactic Federation, um, 
her commanding officer's name was Adam. And in this game, she has a computer named Adam. Uh, and we find out later that that computer was actually like his consciousness uploaded to the computer. Blah, 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 blah. Adam was somebody she really respected. Like, whatever, like, whatever you think of Samus, she was like, Adam, I respect him. He always saw me. He always knew how to, to get me to do what I needed to do. And she he always addressed her as lady. Right? That was the big thing in Metroid Fusion. And the whole end is the computer's, like, controlling where you can go. And then eventually, like, basically his conscious kicks in. And she, he lets Samus kick ass and save the day. Right? That's the whole point of Fusion. Is, okay. Adam's dead, right? And Adam's in dread, too. But we're not going to get to that. Now. Who's this guy right here? That's Adam. We're going to meet Adam. And you're going to have opinions about Adam. And I have opinions about Adam. <laughs> uh, this is young Samus right here. Right? Uh, I don't know if you knew this, but I'm also going to I'm gonna point out a couple things here. What happens to other M? What if you put the M at the beginning? What does it spell? M Mother. Metroid. Mother. Not my Metroid. <laughs> so, timeline lies, that's where we are. If you're like, hey, Jared, what about Metroid Prime and Metroid Prime Pinball and all those games? Those are technically and controversially in between Metroid 1 and 2. Supposedly, they're supposed to give the like idea of why the Galactic Federation said, hey, we should kill all Metroids. And... We'll, we'll talk more about the Metroid Prime world when when and if Metroid Prime 4 comes out and if they re-release any of the other Metroid Primes. But they all take place before Metroid 2, before the eradication of the Metroids, before all of this stuff. Um, so timeline-wise, okay. Another important thing to mention on the timeline. I just need to point this out. I'm going to pull up my Ridley Lair. <laughs> yep. Okay. Now, here's a little really, really icon, right? So, I need to point out how many times Samus has defeated Ridley. I think it's important for all of you to know. Okay? So, original Metroid, Ridley's dead. Kills him. Okay? Metroid Zero Mission, which is a remake of one. Click here. Uh, same thing. Dead, right? Okay. Metroid Prime. Let's consider it part of the timeline for this, for this sake. Ridley, Metroid Prime 1, dead. He was resurrected. There's actually a plot line of why he's resurrected. Uh, and technically, by extension, Metroid Prime Pinball <laughs> and the remake of Metroid Prime. Metroid Prime 2, no Ridley. Doesn't show up because he's finally dead, right? Nope, he's back in 3. Metroid Federation Force... He's not in that. Metroid Prime Trilogy, let's put it here because it's all three games. Okay, now we're coming back up to the normal timeline. Metroid 2 for the Game Boy, is Ridley in it? No, he's not. But when they remade Metroid Samus Returns for the 3DS, guess what? He's in it. <laughs> <laughs> and you kill him. And actually, the baby Metroid helps you attack him. You, you can, and he's actually like, Excuse me, princess. Bezos. Alex, thank you for the 41 months in a row. <laughs> so th there's actually, like, he's been resurrected. He's got, like, metal parts. And, and he sort of looks like what he did in Metroid Prime. So Ridley, we kill him there. Super Metroid, you know the game. We've killed him there. Okay. And technically, we've killed him over here, too. But that doesn't matter, right? We're going to focus on Metroid, Metroid Other End. Okay. Times Ridley's died in the main continuity before Metroid Other M, because he may or may not show up. We'll find out, right? One. Right, this is one. So one, two, three, four, five times. We've killed Ridley five times. That's important. Um, all right. Is there anything else I need to go in? Okay. I think that's it. That's wanted to make sure you guys were aware of, of that. Uh, the biggest thing is, like, Metroid has had two Dark Ages. Metroid had a Dark Age uh, 
after the Metroid Prime, or between Super Metroid and Metroid Prime. It was an eight-year gap. There was no Metroid game on the Nintendo 64. Samus just made an appearance at Smash. So we got a big gap between Metroid Prime. And then before 2017, when Samus Returns came out, we had another gap. And what what caused that gap? This game. <laughs> <laughs> this game is responsible for the dark one of the dark ages of metroid and that's all i'm gonna say we'll get into the gameplay um we'll get into now the other thing i'm gonna say is you all watch the commercial hopefully i posted in discord you uh, did you did i'm pretty sure you did yeah uh this game was promoted highlighted and it was supposed to go into the story of who is Samus Aran. We're going to know who she is. It was made by Team Ninja. It was promoted for its extensive use of cutscenes when that was a big thing in games. We're going to get to know Samus in this game. All those other games, you get to play as her. You thought you knew her. You didn't. You're going to know her now. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. We'll get into... We'll get into translations and voice acting and other things soon, 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 soon. So hopefully hopefully that explains everything as much as I wanted to set it up. I want, I needed to build it up a little bit. This was built up as being a big <laughs> thing. <laughs> I feel sufficiently built up. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Hyped. Fantastic. Now, I have... The power of Wii technology behind me. I am playing with my Luigi Wiimote. I am playing in short proximity to my screen, so we're going to figure out how this is going to go. I think I've got it under control. Um, so we'll see. Twenty ten. Twenty ten. We're going back to twenty ten. Team Ninja. We go. I'm not saying it all again. Watch the VOD. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I gotta put my strap on. I might get angry during this game. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually get angry during this game. Okay, straps on. Okay. Okay. This is actually important. We're gonna hold the controller like an NES controller for the beginning. Metroid. Other end. Press two. <laughs> okay. Also, this has a uh, this has a oh, cinematically it has a really good cutscene. Uh, voice acting. We'll see. What's an NES controller? It's for the olds. It only had two buttons. Language, English, we'll do subtitles for sure. Okay, one is start. Disc is reading, I'm playing this on disc. <gasps> CGI. It's actually kind of give me a little bit of chills because I was like, this could have been a good game. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> I have not touched this game since 2010. Oh, it's Death Stranding. <laughs> We're also going to play a game in chat. How many times does Samus say baby? Starting now. Why am I still alive? A baby. This is the final moments of Super Metroid in full CG.
Okay, Samus. Everything's normal. Everything's normal. I woke to the familiar voice of a quarantine officer. Let's try sitting up, huh? Slowly now. So anyhow, Dream. beginning's kind of hype. I had Killing Mother Brain, Metro Drain. My recent Dime. past. Seeing that the hype scene in CG was pretty cool. Somehow by the baby. Two. I laid Mother Brain to waste. I feel like we need to say baby in all caps planet Zebus in chat. Along with the remains of Mother Brain, the space pirates, and my long-standing nemesis, Ridley. Who? And the baby. Baby! Come on, Samus. Let's go next door. It's like our orb. We actually get to see the transformation. Samus, let's start with a little warm up. Now we're in the Try tutorial. I was hoping for more of a Sailor Moon type flourish. I know, it's, I, there's no twirls or anything, <laughs> but we get to see. All right, so this is played with a D pad. I'm playing with a D pad up, down, left, right, right in a 3D space. And I'm, I can shoot and I can jump. Two buttons jump and shoot. They were trying to make it more classic, like a classic platformer Metroid, but with 3D elements of the Prime series. Mm. Don't forget, this came after the Prime series, which was very highly regarded. Okay. Also, what do you think of Samus's voice thus far? Let me know. I did. I don't know how to explain Sharp looking charge beam, just mm. the way I like it. Weird. I don't know how to explain how I don't like her voice. <laughs> I, I I don't know what I expected it to be. Yeah. But I don't like it. Time, will you shut the motherfucker up. I've saved the universe six <laughs> times by now. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's right. A's more fall. Go ahead and drop some bombs. Okay, get out of more fall mode and return to normal. Perfect, Sam. All right, stand in the middle of the room. <laughs> Surprised? No. From there, kick climb to work your way up. Just like that, Samus. Who are you? Let's invite some of your pals. Let's not. <laughs> so all the all the aiming is automatic. I'm not aiming. It just automatically aims to the nearest enemy, which is cool and not cool. It's, it's supposed to be more action focused. The, the the gameplay of the game is actually not the bad part of this game. It's fine. Let's check your reaction time. Here comes some beams. He seems Stop. to move very fast. Yeah. Okay, those are the moves I remember. <laughs> oh, sounded a little right. sassy. <laughs> those are the moves I remember. So you have this like dodge thing. If you hit the D-pad right before something hits you, you immediately charge again. More action focus. Nice. That's actually fun. Remember how that feels. Yeah, I do. I don't know who this guy is. Like this guy is Next, the worst. How about, part. A missile test? how about? 
Use concentration to replenish your missile supply. Okay. Okay. Here's the other part. We're playing on the Wii. We gotta have Wii controls, right? We've thus far been playing as a platformer. Now, no, no, no. We can't have a 2D yep. or we can't have like a 3D game. It has to be first person, right? Metroid Prime was so popular. We have to have first person elements too. All right. So I don't have to gather missiles. I just have to concentrate. I've concentrated and now I have missiles. One of your pesky buddies is lurking here somewhere. Find him for me, huh? Now, here we go. Now I'm playing in first person uh, pointer view. But I can't move. Buddies is lurking here. There's no nunchuck. Find him for me, huh? I can't move in this view, right? I point at the screen. I'm in search view. This will be important later. Who am I looking for? One of your pesky buddies. Yeah, this One is of the your other pesky buddies is lurking here somewhere. Find him for me, huh? This is the other fun part of this game, is the searching. Why not say hello with a missile? Why not? Well, let me concentrate. Don't want to attack. Samus, now's your chance. Lethal strike. How about I try using a power bomb? Is well fortified, so don't hold back. I love games that start with a long tutorial. Allow adequate room around you during power bomb. All right, Samus. This is all going to be important later. Basically, look what they're saying. Samus has all of her abilities, right? Looks like you took quite a bit of damage. It's unbelievable how well you've held up. Who is this guy? I wondered if this too was a result of the power the baby gave me. Baby. Right, you're doing the meeting room. The big dogs are waiting. I gave your suit a polish so you'd be at least somewhat presentable. Fuck you. Not even a fragment. None of the baby remained on me. Right. Baby. I knew it to be true, but still couldn't help looking at my palm for a sign. Never again would I encounter the baby. Six. Baby. Never. <laughs> Need those babies in check, come on. The finality of it struck me once again. Mission completed. The planet Zebes was annihilated. And all Metroids were exterminated. A simple report. Almost dull even. But it felt momentous to me. I don't know how much time passed since then. Days went by in their quiet way. And people's recollections of Metroids and space pirates grew nebulous over time relegated to a past concern of the galactic communities. Nothing more than a faded memory. The galaxy is at peace. Codename Baby's Cry. Wait, baby. seven? SOS with the urgency of a baby cry. Baby. Eight. The nickname comes from the fact that the purpose of the signal is to draw attention. The signal was coming from a remote part of space. I altered the course of my ship as if this detour had already been part of my flight plan. Baby's cry. 
Nine. It was as though it was crying specifically for me. <laughs> Aren't you hype? <laughs> Aren't you not excited? <laughs> Maybe it's just the voice actor's delivery. I don't know. Like, there's nothing wrong with Keep, her voice. Pay attention to that. It, it's, it's not just her. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to figure out what I don't like about it. But I don't like it. This is big. I'm Samus. I forgot. Yeah, this is... So, all right. One thing that they didn't really explain in the promotion of this game is there, you, there's, a, there's supposed to be a mystery afoot, okay? That's why there's all these detective things. Mm. Um... So we're going to be Professor Lightning it up quite a bit. <laughs> are you going to find hint coins? There are no hint coins. Aw. And just to go first person, at any point in the game, I can just point my controller at the screen and I'm in first person, but I can't move. And then to concentrate, get missiles. Just have to concentrate to get missiles. Did you know if you're not doing it at home? If you just concentrate, you'll have missiles. There's only one person who calls me princess, and that person is Anthony Higgs of the Galactic Federation Army. Haven't seen you since that last mission. Hey, and your buddy's here too. Adam Malkovich, a general in the Galactic Federation Army. Not only a trusted confidant, but also my former superior officer. Yes. There was a time when I was enrolled in the Galactic Federation Army. And then I, well, I was young and inexperienced. As the result of a certain incident, I left Adam's command and set out on my path as a solitary bounty hunter. What are you doing here? <laughs> Hi. The first words out of his mouth were typical coming from Adam. To answer his question, I recounted the details of what had brought me to this place, and then I asked what circumstances led the Federation here. That information is not for an outsider. 
The word he so obviously chose, outsider, pierced my heart. Commander, we're all prepped. Just wait, Gidget. <laughs> our only option is to use the laser to slowly burn our way through. This is gonna take a while. The electrical system here is out, and we can't get the barrier wall to open. We tried using explosives, but it's tricky to pull off without collateral damage. What we need is some way to focus the power onto one centralized location. All right, I'm glad there are women watching this because I want when we're done. I need I need the actual women's point of view from this because I would not say this is a very uh... <laughs> well already was his name Anthony, like put Anthony. his arm in front of Samus, like I know. protecting her like a child in the passenger seat of a car. Like bitch has saved the universe. Yeah, <laughs> like oh she needs you to hold her back from this tiny explosive on the door yeah yeah no samus can uh, blue has how many planets has samus blown up at this point in her career <laughs> she fine yeah all right i do appreciate that after adam was like Wait. this isn't All right, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Sorry. The, the, like this is an information for an outsider. Anthony shrugged, kind of like, well, I would have told you, but uh, this this jerk back here won't. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go on ahead. There is nothing in this game that makes me understand why Adam, re or Adam Samus respects Adam. It but I decided to remain on site for the sake of the others. Yeah, because they might die. <laughs> yeah. Samus has, here. Samus has decided not to use bombs or missiles until Adam has authorized it. That's just, the text. She's just falling back under his command for no reason whatsoever. Tim, that's, yeah, that's really what it is, right? But... Ad yeah, it's also a way to explain the Metroid of it all, right? That's the typical Metroid. Samus loses all, loses all of her powers and then gains them back, right? Yeah. Right? So, you know, that's part of, of being a Metroid. But the reasoning is, does it is it better or worse than she gets hit by a big rock and loses her powers? <laughs> you decide. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, I, wa I want you guys to make your determination on Adam uh, as we play because... Again, in Metroid Fusion, she talks about how Adam understood her. She respected him, even though she felt alone, you know. So why bother teaching Missy? Good question. Great question. All right, let's, let's continue with this intro here. <laughs> Some Ikea Billy bookshelves fall on her and she loses her abilities. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. You're nothing to me. You're dead. Surprised you're allowing yourself to defend yourself without Adam's approval. Just wait. <laughs> there will be more. <laughs> We're in the beginning. <laughs> uh, all right. I got to turn here. Oh, that's right. I gotta do this. We gotta get that immersion. Okay. 
She drinks a cup of coffee and it's gone cold and then loses her abilities. <laughs> You'll notice that these are some classic enemies from Super Metroid. If you didn't notice that, I'm pointing it out to you. These are native fauna from the planet Zebes. That is important. You will find out. Or not fauna, but... Yeah, fauna. Right. They're alive, so. Yeah. For a fauna. Alright, so so far it's feeling like a Metroid, right? Isolated aliens. We got it. It's got it's got it's got the Metroid feel. got some like 2.5D platforming, which is kind of cool. It's actually never been done in a Metroid other than this game. So, you know what? It's not bad. I do remember this room, though. We've got save rooms. We've we've seen those before. All right, here we go. something attacked him. It was obvious that there was some pervasive danger throughout the facility. I didn't know what had brought Adam here. But I did know that cooperation was imperative if we were to restore safety. Adam, listen to me. Clearly, this facility is in complete disorder. It might be too dangerous for your men to go alone. That's why I've... Look at that! They're coming out of the wall! All right, stay calm. Say a big nope to this. Oh yeah, this guy. Open fire.
no go back. I'm not pointing anymore. This ain't good. Nothing's working. Listen up. Freeze guns authorized. He's authorized missile use. So happy. This reminder about concentration, it was like very invasive on the screen. Concentrate fire in a single location and freeze that thing. And Sam, you attack the frozen spot. Samus, looks like I'm going to need to ask for your cooperation on this mission, but I'm also going to have to ask that you follow my commands. You don't move unless I say so, and you don't fire until I say so. Any objections, lady? The thumbs up sign had been used by the Galactic Federation for ages. Me? I was known for giving the thumbs down during briefing. I had my reasons, though. Commander Adam Malkovich was normally cool and not one to joke around. Can, but but he would end all of his mission any briefings by saying, Any objections, lady? He was joking, but others weren't. At the time, I felt surrounded by people who treated me like a child, or used kid gloves because I was a woman. And yet with Adam, I was grateful for the nod. My past has left me with an uneasy soul, and as a result, it touched me on some level that Adam would acknowledge that past by calling me something delicate, like Lady. And I knew more than anyone that every word from Adam was deliberate. My thumbs down was a twofold response. A sign of derision at being called a lady, and a signal of my complete understanding of the mission orders. The other soldiers were always willing to support me with easy smiles, despite the fact that I clearly had so much yet to learn. Among them was Anthony. In the face of his well-meaning behavior and that of the other soldiers, my response was to become increasingly bitter. I was a child, always with something to prove, a chip on my shoulder. And I was angry. I felt that if I let my guard down, I would easily be broken. And beyond that, I was scared. So far, we've had more story than all of the Metro games combined, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I could see in Adam's joking manner how close he felt to me. I'm not Adam sensing it. Past, Does he? And he knows me better than anyone else. Confession time. Because I was so young when I lost both of my parents, there's no question I saw Adam as a father figure. When I rebelled against him, I knew I could get away with it. 
and his paternal compassion in the face of my rebellion reinforced the special bond I felt with him. We just saw that. We're flashing back to two I seconds ago. Well. <laughs> Chances were slim that I would ever find anyone that understood me like Adam. How many times has she said this? And yet, when the time came, I still left his side. I was so young. Young. Young and naive. Understood. Naive. Young. Naive. Understood. Young. Naive. Did we get it? Did we get it beaten to our brains yet? Exactly what transpired here on the battleship is still uncertain. Here's what we do know. The equipment we thought had been destroyed is operational again. And we've seen casualties attributed to an unidentified and lethal creature. The situation is critical. We need to gather all the information we can, but priority one is to find any survivors and bring them to safety. Consider this site extremely dangerous. Be careful as you make your sweeps. And there's one problem. The wireless interference in this facility is all pervasive. Your comm systems are useless. As a result, communication channels will be limited to the facility's navigation booths. Well then, Lyle, investigate Sector 1 and show a little- Lyle Smithsonian. It's Smithsonian! You cover Sector 2. Maurice Favreau. Come across. Affirmative. Anthony. Sector three. Anthony Higgs. You to decide Point what the plasma guns are called for. All right, James. Rat princess. Check out the control room. James Pierce. Communication issues might be the result of electrical interference. Yes, sir. And KG, run a complete sweep KG of the Miyazawa. quarters and investigate any trace of survivors. Got it. Each of you is authorized to use a freeze gun. Do not forget to check in regularly via navigation booths. And Samus, you go to the system management room. Do everything you can to get the electrical system back up and running. Looks like your comm system is still functional. Remember, everything you see will also appear on this screen. Regarding auxiliary weapons, the use of bombs has been authorized. As far as your other weapons go, we will continue to investigate and authorize use as we can. However, we currently have no plans to authorize the use of power bombs. Don't you dare use a power bomb! They have the ability to spread a high temperature heat wave over a large area, impacting living things. Which is a nice way of saying they can vaporize humans instantly. No power bombs this entire game, guys. They're off limits. How dangerous power bombs are, and how they're devastating. Boring. ...with common materials. Once the mission in the system... We're not using them. It's not gonna happen. I need you to report back. I'll give you your next orders then. I want you all to be especially careful as you execute your missions. <laughs> That's the end of the briefing. Oh, finally. It was the first joint mission I'd been a part of since becoming a freelance bounty hunter. And of course, it was the first time since my Federation days that I was following the orders of a commanding officer. Having received mission orders from Adam, I felt confused and strangely exhilarated at the unexpected turn of events. I responded. Understood, Adam. No objections, of course. All right. Of course. All right, we're in the game. We're in no the game. No objections, Daddy. I mean, Adam. <laughs> uh, bombs. We're allowed to use bombs. Oh, my gosh. Okay, chat. Oh, I didn't have... Actually, I forgot to... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Boop. Boop. That up. It sounds like... Um, oh. <laughs> yeah, hi, Mama Figment. Hi, Mama Figment. <laughs> you started in the middle <laughs> of all the cutscenes. <laughs> We're just roasting the game, mm -hmm, which you mm -hmm. should be. I have full permission on this one. Um... I'm trying to catch up with chat because there was so much <laughs> yeah, <laughs> deliberate misogyny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. You're go the we have not seen one other woman in the Galactic Federation. Right? <laughs> but I'm going to spoil something. There is going to be another woman in this game. So we'll see another woman. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. We've got more bombs. Uh, we've got missiles. Okay, okay. 
Time to play the game, right? Use use the map. All right, we're playing the game again. I, I think the thing with Sam, it's not her voice, it's the delivery. It's so wooden and like yeah. every word is pronounced enunciated and like it, it just sounds a little cold. I don't know. But you have to imagine Samus is a solitary creature saving the universe. Samus doesn't have friends. But the internal dialogue is a, a little much. It doesn't even bother me like that she has the internal dialogue, but it's the delivery. And I think like, I appreciate that they're trying to recognize like the trauma of what she's gone through, but they're just making her seem like she's a little like just a weak thing or something like I don't know and again I'm not uh, getting... at this point I'm trying to think like not all the Metroid games were released but you know all the Metroid Prime games uh, Metroid 1 and 2 uh, Metroid Zero Mission um, so we, we have a pretty good idea like people have character this is the other thing I couldn't think of the term for this but like do you, do you have like an inter eternal internal characterization of a character like you've you've seen this character it's like i think this is the big the biggest example i can think in my head is luke skywalker and the last jedi and so many people went into that movie with an expectation of who luke was in their brain mm -hmm. and what the their story they wanted to tell with luke right and that was a big disconnect for people at this point in, like people have an idea of who samus is even if we've not gotten pretty cutscenes and dialogue we have an idea of who she is yeah and there's there's a little bit of a disconnect i think more than a little bit i mean she's essentially modeled after Sigourney Weaver's character she is, in this Alien. Metroid right? is explicitly influenced by Alien and Sigourney Weaver's character. And all yeah. I can think about is Sigourney Weaver <laughs> like yes. her, and that character and just how much better <laughs> yes, you should. she is than what's happening right here. <laughs> So we've got some classic Metroid gameplay. We've got to figure out how to get in this room. And, uh, hey, there just happens to be an energy tank here. Systems management. And, yeah, Alex, to your point, like, the, uh, it, it was like it's apologizing for, like, the way the men are acting. Come on, man. Could you tell this was written by a man? <laughs> and developed what? By a man? What? <laughs> like the thumbs down thing is funny, but also like it drug out way too long. Baby, 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 young. Naive. Understood. <laughs> Understood. Baby. Young. Naive. Understood. Oh, I think I have to blow up these nests with missiles. Get down, get down. <laughs> All right, we've got missiles. We've destroyed the hive.
We've got power. So, okay. One thing I, I'm going... I'm, I'm trying to look... Oh, let's kill these guys. The action elements are actually kind of fun. Um, what I was going to say. So one thing I'm trying to go into this game differently playing this time is understanding some of the differences in scripts between the Japanese and the, and the English version. Um, keep in mind, Metroid Fusion is the direct sequel to this game. And what happened in Metroid Fusion, other than the X-Parasites? We found out that the Galactic Federation was cloning Metroids. They were creating Metroids. And that's really never explained in the game other than a hey, what the fuck's going on here. This is supposed to be an explanation for what's going on there. Uh, so pay attention to... Uh, like, It's supposed to be more of a... And I don't know if this is like spoiling it, but I don't care. I'm, I'm playing this for me too. Like the, the point of this game is to explain like there's division within the Galactic Federation. Although it does not execute that very well. <laughs> All right. vaguely remembering some of this. How am I supposed to go up there? Oh, an elevator. Because <laughs> we have power now. How convenient. We didn't have power before. But now we do. I got it. Thank you. Samus, go through the hatch on your right and head towards Sector 1. Lyle went ahead to secure a route to a facility of interest. I'll leave you to survey Sector 1. Man in the chair. Yeah, I'm gonna sit back here and just monitor the situation.
back on the subject of this king killing Metroid, uh, this game did not sell well. The entire Metroid Prime trilogy, as wildly regarded as it is, does did not sell a lot. <laughs> And surprising I, to me. I think this game sold the poorest out of all of them. I think because I don't know. I love the headshot. The headshots are fun. Sick. Trying to position in 3D space is a little weird. <laughs> with a D-pad. Looks like you're doing a little dance with them. I remember this game being fairly linear for the most part. I think there's some backtracking. This elevator is bound for Sector 1. Okay. A level 3. Warning is now in effect in Sector 1. Okay. Please avoid traveling alone and remain armed. Stay alert to your surroundings at all times. Okay. I will do that. Okay. I, yeah, there's, I remember the narrative of this game. I don't remember the actual gameplay <laughs> too much. I, I was talking to Erica, like, we were thinking back, like, when, when I played this, it was 2010. We mm -hmm. had just bought the house. It came out in August of 2010. Mm -hmm. We had just closed on our house. I don't remember where I played this in the house. <laughs> I remember <laughs> playing it. Yeah, I remember watching part of it and feeling the way I feel right now about it. <laughs> that hasn't changed. <laughs> also, I think I might be the only person streaming this. I, I think when I checked earlier, I was. So hopefully we, we're, we've, now that we've got Link's crossbow training down, we'll be the number one Metroid other end streamer. Mm -hmm. I do like the, um, what do you call it, 2.5D yeah. um, level design, though. Like, I think it's fun. It's like yeah. a mix of classic Metroid and and sort of like some of the actional or exploration of um, Prime. Yeah. yeah that, that part, I definitely like. The again, and the gameplay is not the bad part of this game. Yeah.
dead? The music is still happening, so... The weird part is playing on this tiny D-pad on the <laughs> on the Wiimote. Speaking of which, this may be the least m favorite Metroid music of all time. They, they, they do, uh, if I remember correctly, they do rehash some Super Metroid uh, themes. I, I've heard a little bit in there. Not not recently, but like... Um, yeah. When you were... One of the scenes with Adam and the rest of the guys that we're supposed to care about. There was a little bit of actual metroid the weirdest thing about the first person thing is like it's not that it's bad it's just you can't move when you're in first person view and so you know coming off of the prime games you're like i wish why can't i just move too because it kind of would have made it it's like i mean they've fully rendered it i can i can see everything it's like you can switch between first person Concentrate. concentrate. But yeah, to your point, Sir Chadley, it, for the other parts, it is sort of just generic PS2 sort mm -hmm. of action-y music. If I remember correctly, when we get to uh, some of the other en environs, it'll be a little more... The other thing is if you concentrate when you're low in health, you can you can regain one full health bar, uh, which is kind of nice. You're not just going to die for a, a stupid enemy hit. It looks you. Where are we going? Navigation room. supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be back. Here. can't jump high because I haven't been authorized to jump high. We know how destructive jumping high would be. Yeah, it would just be terrible. I think we have to go up the spiral staircase. I knew you were going to attack me. Why didn't you auto-aim? Stop eating me! So it's supposed to turn into a morph ball.
And we're walking. We've got maps. All right. It's sort of like Metroid Fusion in the sense it's like, go to the next area. We're not going to tell you how to get there, but go there. <laughs> it's fine. Um, but we are to the, I'm to the point in the game where I'm like, give me a power up. <laughs> you know, we fought these, lots of shooting. And you can't, you can't use missiles outside of first-person view, uh, which is also critical, because there are certain things that can only be destroyed with missiles. Ow. Only if they're authorized. Yeah, thankfully we're authorized to use missiles at this point, but could you imagine if we weren't? So I don't think the enemies ever spawn health or power-ups or anything. Some of these, uh, like, kill moves are pretty cool, where Samus, like, jumps in their head and point-blank shoots them in the face, right? Mm -hmm. annoying me. Some people complain the fact that you're not actually aiming and stuff. That doesn't bother me. The auto aim's kind of fun because you kind of feel a little more powerful that you're just like blasting through everything. We're gonna go, let's go in here.
breeding room. dead body. The large cage-like booth looked like something had been raised in it. And in one corner was the miserable form of a researcher's corpse. Miserable form. This victim hadn't sustained the same injuries. The dead I'd seen had been torn apart by something large. This one had been attacked by a different type of creature. And as I studied the violence this creature had wrought, I felt something in the air. The presence of a dark intelligence. Chapter 3, Dark Intelligence. <laughs> it sounds like a ch chapter title, right? It does. Also, okay, so it's not just the delivery. It is also how it's written. Who talks like that? A lot of people think it's it's uh, it's the translation. It's it's like not yeah. a good localization of the Japanese. That that maybe. And I think could that's be. part of it is it wasn't really well localized. Oh, you can kind of see the aurora from your house, Birchima. Yeah, we need to go check. That's awesome. Mm. Okay, so we're, this is one of those mystery modes. We gotta figure out what's going on, right? This is the first person, Professor Layton, uh, Samus Holmes. <laughs> Thing. We've got to we've got to search for random things that aren't very clear in the room to figure out what's going on. I think this is the part I don't like because some of it's not entirely obvious. It's like, oh, there's a dead body. Okay, that's obvious. There's stuff, and it's hidden. I helped. <laughs> You're currently struggling with your own cognitive dissonance about the previous conversation we had about of Final Fantasy XVI, and you're like, this is clearly a Final Fantasy game, despite being so different. This is a Metroid game. This this isn't a Metroid game, despite it saying in the box. It's like there are elements, and then they're just like this. It's just like, gotta make it mysterious. All right, I forget. I don't know what I'm looking for. This is the part I really didn't like. Uh, there's a part where I have to look for green blood that's the same color of as all of the other stuff on the ground. <laughs> and I spent like 45 minutes when I played it the first time. And I was supposed to look at a green puddle that's slightly off-colored from the rest of the, <laughs> the area. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we have to figure out what's going on here before we can proceed. Or I guess maybe we go down... We 
go down this way? I don't remember. Oh yeah, it locked us off, so we weren't supposed to investigate. Sometimes it's not clear. you're supposed to be doing. supposed to be going. Ah, there we go. Back okay, that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Super missile? I don't have super missiles. back this way and then go here. Yeah, I know. Man, okay, this is, I'm trying to remember what I'm supposed to do. What do you want from me, game? I don't have super missiles, so we'll go back up here. Because it clearly wants me to go up there. I can't go the other way. We tried that. Time we get back, so we'll go back down here. But it locks us out of here, right? So we're obviously not supposed to go that way because it intentionally locked us out. All right, so we're backtracking. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. I do not know. Super missile. Oh yeah, so we're supposed to come back and trigger a cutscene. That's what we're supposed to do. Fun, right? Very intuitive. Something's so rustling. Fun. Where's it rustling? Where's the rustles? Through the hatch I just unlocked. Oh. Destination is a little further ahead. Proceed to the way that you're supposed to go. You know, I went to that door three times, but no, you're supposed to go back. 
It looks friendly. Is that one of the animals you saved? I can't remember. See, you're supposed to find out because those bugs are coming out that that's where you're supposed to go. I think it's just that the, visually, dis the visual distinction between some of these things is kind of hard to see. Years. So sorry. Hit the mic with my <laughs> water. I'm gonna um, go look outside and see if I can see the room. Oh, yeah, let me know. Yeah. Me know. I see some people taking pictures locally, so. Okay. Is it sleeping and we're not going to wake it up?
Oh no, we woke it up. Oh, I think we got our first hash hashtag dead. I forget. Does it starts me here? Do you remember some of these beginning parts being frustrating until you get like a couple energy tanks? I think it's also until you get your first beam upgrade because my beam is so weak right now. I'm going to run the opposite direction. Fun, right? Fun. I love being respawned right next to enemies that are going to kill me. taken care of. This guy is now pissed. from 30 miles away. Okay, that room is cleared. 
think it's a little less stressful now. Let's hopefully get to a save point soon. Fun power up music when you get the missiles. Do 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 Oh my gosh. Get us through. Get us through. Oh my gosh. Woo! We're going to have to fight that at some point. I was like, why can't I just open this door? Excel charge acquired. This will make my charge faster. Heck yes. How much faster? A little bit. Not much. Yeah, we only have one Excel charge, so there's multiple.
Why aren't you... Gr oh, you have to hold A. Is that what I'm doing wrong? Oh, my gosh. Yes, Samus. Destroy everything with bombs. Oh, I killed myself. I killed myself. I wasn't supposed to destroy the elevator. Bombs authorized? Did Adam say I was authorized to use them? You don't eat, you don't breathe unless I say it's okay. Can I play Hungry Hungry Hippos? That's authorized. Erica's giving me the verdict on the uh, the old northern lights. Let's see with our light pollution. Oh, uh, yeah, a little bit. I bet if we were somewhere out and about, we'd be able to see them quite a bit. Did you see them with your eyes? Did you see the glow with your eyes? Okay. Yeah. We might go out after the stream and see what it's looking like. Yeah, I can see that one. Yeah. I think okay. it's just a little underexposed or yeah, yeah overexposed. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah, so get out there and check out those northern lights if if you are so inclined. They're they're out there. I do wanna see if we can get out maybe after the stream and see if they're still kind of got my fill last time. I, I kind of want to see them with the naked eye, and I don't know. Okay, I think I need to go down into a gap and shoot it. Samus, look! With your special eyes, turn around. No! Samus! No! Okay. This is dumb. This is dumb. This is dumb. This is a dumb moment. <sighs> Alright, I need to go to that little alcove and, um, and then turn around. This alcove, specifically. You're dead. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I need you to say it. No, 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 no. 
Ah, that's fire. That's fire. And we're jumping. And we're missing the ledges because the hit detection's weird. You kind of have to hold it until Samus grabs. Okay. We're up. We're moving. And we're moving. It's like we should be getting to a cutscene or something soon. Oh yeah, remember when we were down there? I do. just annoying see this is annoying like why why is it making me just store more multiple blocks that's just dumb is this where I'm supposed to go Let's go, let's go this way first. Oh yeah, we don't, we don't have the grappling hook yet. need to stop focusing on killing the enemies because there's no benefit to doing so. I just need to move. come from See, I knew those were alive I forgot how much this game made you go in the first person I thought it was less my memory was that it was less than what it's been thus far even bomb jump you call yourself a metroid game if you can't bomb jump mm, subterranean control room ah uh, not another chameleon dude there's two of them
There's three of them? Oh no, there's just the two. Okay. Okay. Save point. This game definitely does call itself a Metroid game. It's on the cover. It's in the main timeline. It's not even a it's not even a side story. Thank goodness. Diffusion beam. Charge beams will scatter after impact. Controls fire a charge beam. Finally, something. Oh, see how it takes care of groups of enemies? So much better now. I still got these guys. Metroiding. We're definitely Metroiding. Blay is now sitting on you and entirely blocking the screen. I'll let you know if you're missing anything. This is like whack-a-mole.
all of that work and where did it get me? You know how that song goes? So we're heading back here. Now we're on bomb or uh, morph ball transit system. Let's me go to that navigation room. Okay, so we're, we're heading back. Essentially, it wants us to backtrack. Metroid game backtracking? No. What? looking at game it's about the backtracking That's right, this door was locked to us. It still is. We don't have super missiles. You see, super missiles are stronger than normal missiles. What? I know! You wouldn't know by just the name. Are they authorized? No, absolutely not. <laughs> Can't go back this way because it's a slide. Uh, where do we go? Where do we go? I'm gonna knock on my door, Mr. Roper. Let's get some shoes. This guy, I want this guy to die. I was just in this room and he respawned. 
He's not dropping health for me. I hate him. Oh, yeah, we can't go over there, though, because we don't have grapple hook. Yeah. Oh, we're supposed to go back here. This door was locked earlier. Adam must have unlocked it. Adam for unlocked you. it. He was like, oh, I guess you can go there now. You have my permission. how bad it was interact for these consoles i'm not hitting a button you just have to position samus perfectly in front of them and wait a second <laughs> and Weird. yeah it's it's annoying wait, why did i turn this back on supposed to let me know there's like a weak point specifically there but i gotta go turn it back on now god i don't remember this i don't remember this uno ma un bit go this way anyways because I don't have super missiles. Disc disc.
we we joke about that, but I'm I if that if that cutscene that we saw earlier where I had to go back to a specific point to just trigger is any indication that will happen definitely again. All right, here we go. Oh, we went here. This is where we found the um. This is where we found the charge thing. No, nope. go back here. Where do you want me to go? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Wings. the elevator room. I remember this. I'm already backtracking. Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Yes. Uh-huh. Slowly insane. That's a super missile door, which we can't go to yet. Was there another one of those things in here that I couldn't use before and now I can? Is that what's going on? I think that's what's going on. And I was supposed to remember that. And I didn't. Shame on me, man. Shame on me. I think it was where I blew up that one piece of trash in the wall. I think it was here? No, this was this room. I don't have grapple hook. What am I doing? Where does it want me to go? I don't know, but we'll get there someday. It's late day today. No, it's not, but it might be tomorrow. Hello, missile upgrade. Oh, this one up team. I do like the fact that if you see something that it marks on your map, so you're like, oh, there's a power up there, you know, and it marks on your map for later. That's a nice, that's a, that is nice, right? It's one, one, one nice thing I can say about this game. It's about the only thing. I think there's a morph ball chamber over there. I can get to that. Oh yeah, this is where we met Worm Guy the first time. Responding several times? Okay. That's fine. I didn't want to go there. Where am I, where am I in relationship to where I'm supposed to be going? Oh, okay. Yeah, this 
this morph ball chamber shoots me all the way back out to the main room. I'm in a loop. I'm trapped inside the matrix. Wait, am I just supposed to go this way? Oh, I've not been. No, this is where I fought. Yeah, I've already been here. Good golly, my memory's fuzzy. Okay. I am missing something. I think you're just used to with most of the other Metroid games you've replayed on stream, you, like, know them really well. And this one, you're like, uh... I, yeah, well, I, I also don't think this one is very intuitive. Yeah. Sometimes there's, like, a flow of where you're supposed to go. Yeah, it's you. It's me. All right, so, it obviously forces me back out into this room. Right? So, we're... So that would tell you I need to go this way. Yeah, I want to go back to Big Tree Room. That's what I want to do. Okay, maybe that's what I missed. Maybe that's where I'm screwing up. Go here. And then... Or no, I can't go that way, right? That's the slide. <sighs> slide, slide, slippy slide. Oh no, let's go back up here. Let's go back up here. Let's see if this does anything. Let's go back up here. Not here. Here. Oh my gosh, where? Oh, I feel like this happened the first time I played this game. Is it was? All right. mm. Super missile door. Also, doesn't mark the doors on your map. You don't know, like other Metroids, of like, oh, that was a super missile door. That's a blue door. I can't do blue doors yet. Or does it? Did I not look at that? I feel like I looked at this one. I am looking. Yes. It didn't change the color of the door. Mm. Okay, so we don't go that way. Go this way. Get off. So we go this way. That's where we came from. And then we get up to that thing. I think it has to do with that hologram room, right? Oh, 
which we'll just ignore him. We don't need to fight him three times. He doesn't give us anything. He's just a jerk. Is there anything back of the back of this way? Back of this way. That doesn't do anything for us though. So we'll go up there. I think it has to go with going in straight here with this hologram room. What are we missing? It's it's in here. What is what are we missing in here? You've turned off your special hologram. There's a super missile door that we can't get to. First person it a little more. Who's hitting me? Why are you doing that? <laughs> you don't have permission to do that. Adam did not give you permission to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, even the enemies have to wait for Adam's permission. Not super missile. Yeah, we've, we've interacted with that. Why are you telling me? Was there somewhere else up here we could go that we're missing? Cause this room was already this was this room was already de-hologrammed when we came into it and then it had us hologram it as if this was significant here mm. right <laughs> bomb it i thought there was I did a little that. crack I thought I bombed it. I, I almost eh. said, like, oh, there's a, a bombable crack there. Yeah, okay. That was, uh, that's on me. That's on me. Okay. We've wasted 20 minutes of time. <laughs> Does that make it feel more or less like a metroid game uh honestly <laughs> that is pretty that is a pretty what we call in the biz a metroid moment <laughs> so i i will not say that that is something the fault that this game does <laughs> any differently than any other metroid game i just i thought i had bombed it earlier i obviously did not Biological experiment floor.
Like, that's just there to push you off. That's its sole purpose in life. Not to kill you, just to be annoying. worked out in my favor. I was like, <gasps> missile tank. <laughs> no, I should have waited. Are we getting spoopy vibes from this game? Yeah, I think so. Are we getting a little, so. bit, a little bit spoopy vibes to fit the, uh, the October theme? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a smidge. And we're falling. And we're forced into first person view. What do we got? Door that hasn't been authorized to be open yet. Action. Come 
missiles are empty and my health is low. Concentrate. Sit down. Give me a power up. Creatures use the powers of others to capture their prey. Watching this disgusting beast, I felt as though it was feeding off my power as well. At the same time, a thought crossed my mind. That howl I heard earlier. Could this creature have been the source? Is it the baby? Head to the biosphere test area in your current sector. There should be some important information about this facility in that exam center. The other members are en route. Quickly, go meet them there. I have unlocked the door. You may proceed through the door. Yeah, that thing was nightmare fuel, right? Invincible. I want that energy part, but I don't know how to get to it. I don't see any hatches. Yeah, that's the other thing is they introduce these energy they introduce pieces of heart in Metroid for energy tanks. So you know four. Beep, 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 so many things. Sequence complete. Process some... What did I miss down there? Go back. Oh, I can't go back that way. Of course not. You have to backtrack, but you can't backtrack when you want to backtrack. But well, you can only backtrack if if Adam says it's okay. Ugh. Samus don't need no man telling her what to do. Back this way. Oh. 
We don't have the gravity suit. So water is the worst. Let me guess. You have the gravity suit. You're just not allowed to use it. <laughs> just wait. Just wait. All in due time. All will be revealed. Yeah, it'll be important later. I really want me to do something here.
don't think you can go down there. The bridge is uh, down. We're up. All right, so we're going to go this way. So we'll go back the way I was working on. Uh, I suppose. that guy, right? We gotta get rid of that guy. That guy's annoying. He's ruining our, our vibes. There's also this weird, like, hit detection thing where if I hit a wall or something, Samus just kind of freezes for a second. I don't know what's going on with that. Right, was that the guy that was blocking me before? Oh, I see what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go into first-person mood on on the transit ride. That's what we're supposed to do. I got it. I know what you want me to do now. Why do we fall, Bruce? Sneaky. Does that help us? I see.
where does it want me to go? Or am I supposed to go back? I don't is it is it me or is this game just confusing sometimes I feel like this is a Zelda temple the raising and lowering of the water So we go here. Are we just supposed to shoot that again? No. We're supposed to go under here and just look around? Hit that with a morph ball bomb? What do you want? Maybe I'm supposed to go back out of the room and Adam's like, I give you permission for the gravity suit. Oh god, this. probably. Probably something dumb like that. Wait, is that doing anything in here? No. like a thing up there maybe that's it maybe there's a secret uh I think maybe there's a secret switch in this room on the other side of this wall up here to the left
Wait. What are you locking on to? What were you locking on to? Oh, is it just a fish? So we definitely have the water going up and down now. Oh, how does that help me? Oh. Wait, is this... Oh, this is just a missile upgrade? Okay. Well, there's a little tunnel there. That was kind of hard to see. Off of me. I okay, I'm going crazy. Let's consult the map. Activated the lift earlier. And you need a speed booster for here. Maybe that does something here? I don't think so. Maybe if we cross the bridge. The weather's on TV. It's 10 p.m. and 72 degrees. We're sitting nice at a nice 49 right now. A, a nice, breezy, cool, brisk. I was thinking about looking outside again. Maybe you should. 
we should uh i should probably be next uh next save point i'll probably quit the stream for tonight if i knew what i was doing <laughs> clearly i do not have i do you even metroid bro <laughs> do you even metroid bro this is the metroid experience though um, where am i going why am i here do i need to backtrack What's the point of existence? Have I been authorized to use this piece of equipment that I need yet? Does Adam think I'm smart? Is Adam proud of me? Adam will tell me he, lo he loves me like a daughter. Okay, what obvious thing are we missing? Okay, let's think about this realistically. The water's mm -hmm. raising. Mm -hmm. Okay. Up and down. So before... Those platforms were down, and then when I went in here and shot the thing, it made them go up and down. Okay. Which tells you, okay, that means you can get over here, so you could jump on this, so that when they go up, that would be important. So what can I do? It does feel like you should be interacting with that thing there because it's raising you up to it. You're just supposed to stand in front of it perfectly. It's flashing, which means it's already been activated. Compared to all the other ones, that means it's done. The switch is on. Yeah. There is a thing here. tried power bombing it but I'll or bombing it I'll do that again there was one on the bottom of the platform that that's what on. raised them down that's I already clicked that one and already it's already that. triggered okay. I mean I'll go double check because yeah, who yeah. knows but it's flashing like that one I can't if I can't lock onto it yeah. it means it's triggered so gotcha um Let's make sure there's no fish that disturb our... Yeah, see, so no, it's yeah, flashing I and I can't lock onto okay. it, so... Yeah. <laughs> what? Could we possibly missing I'll look it up <laughs> Metroid other M sector one water room water water temple watery grave water room raising and lowering okay. here's what it wants us to do okay <laughs> you tell me if this is obvious or not
wall jump. Uh, oh my god. I okay. don't think that was obvious. No. I guess you also have to keep in mind this is the first time they had handed off development of a Metroid to a third party developer. Mm. And uh, look what it did to the franchise. <laughs> So maybe that's why they were hesitant to uh, try that again. But M Mercury Steam, who did Metroid Dread and, and Samus Returns, I think definitely understand the, uh, the Metroid formula. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to do. That being said, this isn't horrible. It's just not good. <laughs> or it's not great. Don't fall. Thank you. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It's like Metroid Prime exists, but also 2D Metroid exists. And we've got to make use of the Wiimote. We want to make it feel... It, it, it has an identity crisis. You have an identity crisis, Jared. Naturally. That's the guy we saw from the window. not seem to face him.
You dead? You're annoying. Finally. All right, we're going to call it there tonight, everybody. i got to de-strap my Wiimote here for safety. <laughs> oh, okay. So, that's Metroid Other M. Hopefully, you're enjoying it. Uh, I'm trying to think of, like, how long this game... I don't remember how long this game takes to beat. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not long. Gidget wants to know if you asked Adam if you could quit for the night. Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I should probably ask Adam if I have his permission. <laughs> Baby needs permission. How do I do the menu? I don't think I do the menu. Using a Wiimote in 2023 is, is weird. <laughs> also, there's not there's not a menu to go back. You can just hmm. exit the game. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, that's it for tonight. Uh, should be back tomorrow with some more Metroid. According to Time to Beat, this game takes about nine hours to beat. And we've streamed for about three hours. So we'll we'll definitely play a little bit longer tomorrow night, and uh, probably should be. Uh, did I say twenty twenty three? Is that what I said? You might have. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> You're wondering if there's any other Wii games I should play now that it's plugged in and everything. Mm. It's not a big deal to pl plug it in. I just made it seem like it was a big deal on social media. You know, <laughs> got some engagement on uh, threads. Um. I, yeah, sorry. I'm I'm still living in the past, right? <laughs> Obviously, because I'm playing a game from 2010. Um, yeah, we'll we'll come back to this tomorrow uh, and see what we can knock out. Uh, we definitely need to get some more cutscenes, right? Definitely. Because uh, I there's there's some there's some scenes. I'm telling you, man. There's some scenes I need you to to see and experience with your minds and your eyes, and I need. <laughs> It's just, it's just this game. This game is just so. I don't know. Compared to Metroid Dread, Metroid Dread was hype, right? Mm -hmm. And Metroid Prime Four is next year, so we're gonna play this. Yeah, I don't know if there's any other spoopy Wii games. I mean, I could always pull out uh, Resident Evil Four, the original. Ooh. <laughs> I, but I kind of want to play the remake because I've played Resident Evil Four several times. Yeah. And I want to see what they've done. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe there's some quick Wii games. If you have any quick Wii games, I you know it's not a big deal. You can always pull out the Wii. It wasn't a big deal. I just hooked it up. Uh, all right. So that's it. Erica, say goodnight. Good night. Er say goodnight, Erica. Say goodnight, Erica. Say goodnight, chat. <laughs> See you next time.
baby. <laughs>